Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So as I mentioned in the last video I tried to keep the distance between one video and the other as short as possible and well today I'm so excited to announce you we will do a special unboxing. I got this box from Hong Kong and can you guess what's inside? Let's check it out together! amazing Instaflex TL70 Plus together with the lens set oh my god oh my god look at this beauty here Look at this beauty here! And in addition to this camera As mentioned, we have this lens set that uh, is a mix of uh, neutral density filter, the ND2, ND4 and ND8, as well as a close-up lens for Instaflex TL70+. And it comes as usual with one clothes, where inside we have the neutral density here and the other sets are here going from the neutral density 8 neutral density 4 neutral density 2 and the close up as you can see so i'm i'm really excited for this amazing opportunity of testing the new Mint Instant Camera. And just to give you a reference on the size, well, the camera itself, is, it's big. So if, for example, you consider the Yashica 44, that is the one that works with 127, so uh, just a little bit bigger than a 35 millimeter film, you can see how huge is it. Okay, this one it's really mini uh, as is, but uh, well, it's big. But we know also that uh, this camera is actually using the square format. So how does it stand with the SQ6 by Fujifilm? Well, it's it's uh, it's pretty massive, but. Uh, don't forget that here we have a proper lens, uh, proper controls that will allow us to enjoy more photography. And how does it stand with the original Mint camera, the RF70? From a weight perspective, it's uh, not too different and honestly, I personally like when a camera has a, a certain weight because it uh, helps to manage the, the shooting a little bit better in my opinion. So this one uh, works with battery that uh, we can remove here and check here. Uh, and uh, allows you, of course, uh, to have a series of uh, uh, control uh, starting from uh, uh, 
of course the focusing you can manage here with this uh, wheel this will move uh, the button right inside then this other allows you to change the shutter speed and uh, as it use uh, for uh, the other main camera doesn't not only allow you to select properly the uh, shutter speed but it has some automation where the camera is going to take care of the uh, shooting by itself and here on the bottom okay these uh, things here is going to change uh, uh, if i can focus okay the aperture so we go from uh, 22 all the way down to 5.6 now does it mean the 5.6 is not good absolutely not because remember that the size of this film is uh, massively bigger than uh, a normal 35 millimeter and that was the same uh, things that we got uh, with the rf uh, 70 as well so uh, 5.6 uh, aperture on this type of camera is absolutely uh, a really good good uh, uh, value to to enjoy the the shooting itself uh, it has of course uh, the magnifier here in case uh, you need to uh, properly uh, focus uh, it has uh, the uh, tripod mount so you can put it and enjoy um, and uh, of course it has a shutter speed here uh, sorry the shutter button here on the bottom and you can even uh, use uh, uh, the remote as well a remote cable if you want now when uh, i got the rf70 uh, it came also with a strap uh, in this case uh, no for this uh, i didn't find in the uh, in the box i don't know if uh, for any future iterations uh, uh, mint is planning to include it but uh, again you have uh, the opportunity to attach here without any problem so i don't feel like it's uh, uh, it's an issue at all and then you can simply close it and it'll become a little bit more compact okay so well next things to do of course would be to go out and shoot with this camera so stay tuned in the channel because uh, i'm going to do that uh, uh, tomorrow yes today of course it's rainy every time i need to to test the camera well, it's always rain uh, before leaving just one point that i noticed on the cover and that i really like it is that uh, there is this uh, uh, little knob here this one that you turn and the cover of the lens is taking place so it's definitely something good uh, and you will not be worried to lose it so really well done mint well guys let me know in the comments below if you have any specific requests of type of picture that you feel like uh, i should try to focus on in my uh, shooting uh, and i will keep posting here i will keep posting on the instagram page as well the results so stay tuned and again let me know in the comments below whatever question uh, you may have whatever suggestion you can have for the new mint camera uh that's all for me for today thank you mint for giving me this opportunity i will leave also the link uh, to mint camera here so that you can check uh and you can even start pre-ordering the camera itself so don't lose this uh, amazing opportunity and as usual till next time stay click bye guys